change. So um, why are we doing this? Because you don't need to be messing with time. Wait. There's a way. Someone hand me a fishbowl. As weird as it sounds, we always have a fishbowl on hand. Is it filled with random facts? It is filled with facts. It magically fills with facts whenever we spend more than 30 minutes talking about one subject. Let me see one. Fishbowl facts. Oh, I picked a long one. <laughs> fishbowl fact number one. The early episodes of Doctor Who were codenamed Torchwood to keep them from being stolen. This name was later begin, became the title of a spin-off series featuring John Barrowman as Captain Jack Harkness as head of an organization that investigates unexplained extraterrestrial events on Earth. Now pass this around and everybody read a fact from the fishbowl. All right. I don't see um, how this will help. Yeah. <laughs> but the doctor said. Okay. Right. Can I have a fishbowl? Because all of them know what they were doing all so far. <laughs> fishbowl fact number two. Kaylin Blackwood, who played young Amelia Pond, is Karen Gillan's real-life cousins. However, the first time they met was on set because Caitlin was born in Northern Ireland and Karen lived in Scotland. You said Scotland like you're from Scotland. 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 Fishbowl fact number three. Douglas Adams and Neil Gaiman have both written and edited scripts for Doctor Who. Fishbowl fact number four. While both Peter Capaldi and Karen Gillan had small roles in the episode The Fires of Pompeii before landing their leading roles later on in the series. Fishbowl fact number five. David Tennant is married to Georgia Moffat. She played the Doctor's daughter and is coincidentally the real-life daughter of Peter Davidson, who played the Fifth Doctor. Fishbowl fact number six. The Fourth Doctor's scarf was created by accident. The costume designer misread her instructions and knitted all of the wool she was given into the scarf. Tom Baker liked the overly long scarf and went on to wear it for the show. You know what, Doctor? I think this is helping. <laughs> We're learning so much. Fishbowl fact number seven. There have been Still not home. <laughs> there have been 17 male and 27 female companions. Always more girls. Hmm. Fishbowl fact number eight. Doctor Who is banned in China because the government authorities don't want to promote anything that could be seen as rewriting history. <laughs> Fishbowl fact number nine. The regeneration effect was accidentally discovered when a faulty mixing desk allowed the image of William Hartnell to be overexposed to almost white allowing the next doctor's face to be placed before the effect faded again. Huh. Hmm. I finally learned something! <laughs> <laughs> Fishbowl fact number 10. In the show, the TARDIS looks like an old-fashioned police lockup box because it's a cloaking device called the Chameleon Circuit mal- Malfunction. No, the Chameleon Circuit, sorry, comma. <laughs> it malfunctioned. The oh. Chameleon Circuit malfunctioned. What she said, after the doctor visited 1963 London. The actual reason was the cost to change the outside of the TARDIS every episode exceeded to prop budget. So it cost too much money, so they just left it as the police box. Mm, It's like AMC owned the show. (laughs) Fishbowl fact number 11. The original Daleks were controlled from the inside. The operators had to manipulate their eye stalks, domes, and arms, as well as their flashing lights. One of the operators made the comment, if you were related to an octopus, then it helped. Fishbowl fact number 12. Both Peter Capaldi and David Tennant were huge fans of Doctor Who growing up. David Tennant's grandma knitted him a scarf that the fourth Doctor wore, and Peter Capaldi sent letters and essays into the Doctor Who production offices and even wanted to run the Doctor Who fan club. Fishbowl fact number 13. In the original 26 years between 1963 to 1989, the show only won two awards. After the reboot in 2005, it has been nominated for over 230 awards and has won over 120 awards. Fishbowl fact number 14. When Matt Smith announced Bowties are cool. Bowties are cool. <laughs> Bowties sales shot up by 94% within a month in the UK. Yep. Wow. That should have been my fishbowl fact. I chose the wrong one. Well, you doctor, chose wrong. I think we've read all the fishbowl facts. Yep, we're out of fishbowl facts, doctor. That didn't help. What did I miss? I need to think. Get in the TARDIS! I need to get you out of here. You four are too distracting. Hello, I'm the doctor. But, wait a minute. You're a girl. Not some old dude, or some bow tie wearing dude, or some buggy eyed dude. I could go on at least ten more times. Well, you know, I figured it's about time I regenerate it into a strong female. I know the master regenerated into Missy, so I figured I could be a beautiful woman, too. Strong women are cool. <laughs> Guys, see what I did there? Who do I sound like? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That means you, Doctor, are married to a woman. <laughs> yes, well, I haven't met River in my timeline yet, 
My story as a doctor is just beginning. I'm here to get you home, but first, I want to make sure you have you all have learned something. It's time for a pop quiz. First of all, that's hot. Second of all, that's my bit. Oh, not today it isn't. So does everybody have their pens and papers ready? Your, your scented erasers, your markers, your crayons, whatever you need to write with. Boy, you're stealing the whole bit. Oh, well. Was I supposed to grab that with the recording equipment? I got some. Okay, good. Sorry, it's like the only thing I took, so we're good. <laughs> Use a lipstick. I got a pencil. My pencil. I said whatever well, you go. got. You've got highlighter. I'm going to yell out the answers. A rock, whatever. I'm not going to know any of the answers. All right, well, this quiz is called What Geometrical Shape is the Doctor Most Afraid of? A Weeping Angle. Or, if you don't like that one, <laughs> what do you call two time lords standing in the same place? A pair of docs. All right, guys. <laughs> Here is question. I get it because yes. you're doctors. Yes. I just don't know which doctors. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Oz. <laughs> wow. All right, guys, I've got five questions, starting with the easiest, going to the hardest. Are the answers in anywhere around here? No. Was I supposed to learn something? Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm testing. See what you learned. Were you paying attention? No, I was looking for highlight. <laughs> I know, JL. It seems you found some. What is the weird food combination loved by the 11th Doctor? I think everybody should know this one. Nope. Except for JL. I may know this one. Oh, uh, Laura, I don't think you should take this quiz. Why not? Because you're going to know all the answers. So, you're not going to take it. Okay, fine. <laughs> all right, question number two. What is the name of the current actor playing the Doctor? Little Birdie whispered that I should put that as number five, but I felt like too many people would know this answer. Uh. But everybody in this room's just staring at me. I'm the current Doctor, by the way. <laughs> 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 What's your name? <laughs> I'm the Doctor. <laughs> God dang it! <sighs> doctor who, though? No, just the doctor. <laughs> Number three. What does TARDIS stand for? And it is not tacos are ridiculously delicious in space. Sorry, guys. Damn it. What does TARDIS stand for? Is everybody's pencils down? JL, you're still writing. It's a long one. It is a long one. I'm being patient. Okay. All right, question number four. Why does the TARDIS wheeze and groan during landing? Apparently, it's not supposed to make that noise. This is weird being on this side of the quiz. <laughs> yeah, now you know how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> question number five. This is going to be a bit tricky, what I'm looking for. How long was Christopher Eccleston the doctor? Now, I'm looking for the time of his first appearance that has aired on on TV until his last on-air appearance. So not necessarily episode time-wise, but how long in time was he the Doctor? Huh? So, <laughs> That's <laughs> yes, what I'm saying. It's a tricky question. When he first appeared on TV until he last appeared on TV as the Doctor, how long was that? First of all, who the hell is Christopher Alcles? He he the, I, I give you this hint. He was the ninth Doctor. He was the second guy you met. Yeah, with the leather jacket. No, he would have been the third one we met today. Oh, yeah, I wasn't counting the first one. With the leather jacket. Why, the first one sounded awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I think he might have been drunk. Was he with Rose? Yes, he was with Rose. I thought Ganondorf was here at one point. <laughs> Ganondorf sounded awesome. Those were my two favorite characters so far. Am I just putting down a number... Yeah, just put down a number. Sure. All right, everybody down? Pencil yeah. down? Question number one. What is the weird food combination loved by the 11th Doctor? Sabrina. Custard and fish sticks. All right, JL. Peanut butter banana sandwiches. Nope. Not Elvis. I know. Chris. Custard and fish sticks. Good job. Everybody gets a point. But Yay, JL. my first point. In 117 episodes, my first point. What is the name of the current actor playing the Doctor? Chris. Dr. Boobs. <laughs> JL. Jenna Coleman. 
Sabrina. A girl's name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give a point to JL because at least he names an actor on Doctor Who, but no. It's, she was Clara. She was Clara. Uh, I but, thought the answer was impossible, so I went with the impossible girl. Well, there you go. I was close. I had Doctor. I had a girl's and name. <laughs> she does Literally. have boobs. All right. Well, her name is Jodie Whittaker. Uh, Jody Whitaker. So I get what half a point? No, you get nothing. JL gets half a point. Good day, sir. Um, but I had a girl's name down. Nope, still wrong. <laughs> still wrong. What does TARDIS stand for? JL. Time against reality's destruction in space. Sabrina. Time and relative direction. Super. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Time and real idiots. Damn, son. <laughs> no. I'm going to give Chris a point on that one. However, Yay. he was wrong. Oh. It is time and relative dimension in space. I got two. You have one. <laughs> time and relative. She did. She did. Something. That's three. All right. Why does the TARDIS wheeze and groan during landing? Sabrina. Because uh, it's cheap and old like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bert Reynolds. <laughs> Christopher. Bad back. Jail. Hernia. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get five points for this one. It is because the doctor leaves the brakes on. Um, I don't care. I'm going to like, fist bump Chris from over here because we were like on the yes. point there. Yeah. Your mom. All right. How long was Christopher Eccleston on air as the doctor? Jail. Two years. Sabrina. 35. 35 what? 35. Okay. <laughs> Christopher. Whatever gets me closer to the real answer. Pi. Pi. Yeah, 3.14 to infinity. Okay. Um, the real answer is he was a doctor for only three months. So 35 days. Sure, three months. I was closest. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys, you did pretty awful on that. <laughs> That's normal. But do you feel like you learned anything? I learned it's hard to travel through time while holding recording equipment. I learned that beer on different planets tastes differently, depending on the gravity. Well, I learned a lot. I haven't watched the show before, but if I had the BBC, I'd probably check it out if Mass Singer wasn't on for some reason. Well, I actually already knew all of this. <laughs> well, then, I think you four have a script to write. Let's get you back to your podcast room. Can we play that um, one song on the way back? I don't know. Are you suddenly rich and have that money to pay the royalties? Uh, nope, I guess not. But we can sing it. Doctor Who. The Tardis. Doctor Who. The Tardis. Jail likes my singing. <laughs> the Tardis. <laughs> Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. I, I don't know this song. Are we almost there? All right. Why is it to Gary Glitter's rock and roll? Like, you know, rock and roll. Hey. Nah, nah, nah. Because all the great rock and roll songs were already written in the 50s. We we're just repeating them over and over again. I don't believe that. The Ramones made a career of, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see what you guys have to say about Doctor Who. On Facebook, we got lots of gifts. And we can't use that because we need you guys to write words, although I appreciate you responding to it. But all your Doctor Who gifts, I can't tell anybody about them. I'm not going to describe them. Well, there was one with David Tennant. Yes. <laughs> There's another one with David Tennant. There was another one with David Tennant. Oh, there was one with Rose. Lauren said, 10th Doctor, Donna Noble, the Master. So I think she was listing her favorite characters because that's all she wrote. She didn't say, my favorite characters are... Or she was having a stroke and just wrote down Dr. <laughs> you guys are fun. <laughs> John said, first discovered Dr. Who back in the 80s when the, doc when the fifth doctor was played by Pete Davidson. Oh, not, we know who his daughter not is. Not Pete Davidson. That's, he's on Saturday Night Live. No, no, it's no Peter he Davidson. used to be on Saturday Night Live. Who? No, he's not anymore. Pete Davidson. Yeah, he's still but it's on Peter there. Davidson. Pete he's Davidson's right, still yeah. on Saturday Night Live. He is? is? He? Yeah, Pete Davidson. I only watched when I came across it by chance on Late Night PBS. The Tenth Doctor, David Tennant, is definitely my favorite incarnation. I really do love Rose as his companion and Clara, well, Matt Smith played the Doctor. But the humor of Donna Noble 
played by Catherine Tate, won me over as favorite companion so far <laughs> overall. Really? Because I just I couldn't get behind Donna. I know. You don't like Donna. I don't know who she is. Yeah.